having a fabulous day. Today I am back with a review and a first impression on the new Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection and I'm super duper excited you guys. I've been waiting for this collection so long and it finally launched at Ulta in stores. I know it's been online but to be honest with you guys I prefer to actually look at the product before I get it. Sometimes I do order things online and they're not what I expected and I'm so happy that I was actually able to look at the items before I bought them because there was a couple things that I was planning on getting and I ended up not getting at all. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I do have a makeup tutorial. I do have some swatches, reviews, everything for you guys in this video. But before we get started, I just wanted to say welcome. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to also click on that little bell so that way you get notifications when I upload new videos. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. what I got from the collection and then towards the end of the video I do have a tutorial for you and it is on this makeup look that I currently have so yeah let's go ahead and start first with a palette got this little palette right here it is called the Too Faced Tutti Frutti Razzle Dazzle Berry palette it does have seven shades they're all beautiful there is a combination of matte and shimmers let me show you guys exactly what it looks like this is what it looks like look how pretty this is it's gorgeous love love the packaging one thing that I loved about this collection from this um, Tutti Frutti is that all their products have like this little like angle right here which makes it so much easier for you to open the palette so this is the palette it is absolutely stunning you guys love every single shade this one right here which is like a darker shade I did have like a little bit of fallout not too much and then also this one here which I did use a wet brush and then that did the trick other than that they're all beautiful there is a variety of matte shades and shimmers but absolutely gorgeous let me swatch a couple for you guys so you can see how beautiful every single shadow is look how gorgeous this one here is like my favorite and they're like so buttery and pigmented so easy to blend I am like quite impressed with this collection I know like other collections are either they're either like a hit or miss this one here is a definitely must-have so if you're looking to get anything from this collection you definitely should they're all beautiful and the best part of this one is that it smells delicious it smells so so fruity so yummy you guys it's like a candy it smells like it smells a lot like berries I definitely love the smell of this one okay so next moving on I do have a bronzer this bronzer is gorgeous and it's called the pineapple Sun it looks like this also the packaging is to die for they really did an amazing job in the packaging also it has that little slide right here and look at the inside it is gorgeous it does have like a little pineapple and it does have two sides it is more like a shimmery bronzer but if you just use this side right here you will not get like a lot of shimmer what I did is I use this as a contour dash bronzer and then this one as a highlight is which is actually what I have right here right now and it is such a beautiful highlight I thought it was gonna be like too dark as a highlight but it's just perfect these two shades are definitely beautiful and you can even like pair them up together if you want to have like a combination of a bronzy glowy look you can just you know use them both together but if you use them separately it's perfectly fine I thought this one here was gonna smell like pineapple but it doesn't really it smells more like just like a fruity fruity scent it's so so yummy love the scent on this one I also got a setting powder and I got this one here it has like cute little bananas all over adorable this one's called banana cream and it's called it's banana setting powder this definitely does set your um, like your under eye concealer and it brightens up that area which I definitely loved the inside you guys is adorable it has a little banana right here in the mirror and then it has these little bananas Anna's actually on the little palette itself it is absolutely gorgeous 
And this one here smells like bananas. Love it, you guys. It's so, so pretty, and it definitely did brighten up my under eye so nicely. Love this, and it is matte. Okay, so the other thing I also got from the collection is this blush. And this one here is a strawberry. And this one's called the Strawberry Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo. They're all duos, and I believe they had like another um, little palette of this one, but it was like just too dark for me. So the one that I got is this one. Look how cute that is. And it looks like this on the inside. Again, it has like a little berry right here. Adorable. And this one here is a duo. So it does have two. You can use it, you know, either or or together. The way I use it is I just, you know, use them both together. This one is more like on the lighter shade. And it has a little bit more shimmer than this one. Both of them are gorgeous colors, you guys. Here, there's. And this one here smells like strawberries. It smells so, so yummy. Very nice and fruity. So the last thing I picked up from that collection is a lip glaze. They did have several in that collection. I did swatch all of them. I only liked one and the other ones were just a little bit too bright. I think they're more for like the summertime. I really wish they would have came out with this collection towards, you know, spring, summer, not at the end of summer when we're like close to fall. I just, they're just shades I would not wear either in the fall or winter time. So I did not get them. I skipped on those but I did get this one here from that collection this one is in the shade yummy rummy and it's called the comfort lip glaze it is a super comfortable lip gloss you guys I'm not a lip gloss type of a person I know I say this a lot I prefer lipsticks or liquid lipsticks but this one here was actually quite comfortable and even though it does have like little shimmer sparkle in it it's not uncomfortable whatsoever and it does feel a little bit minty so I'm wondering if it has any kind of mint in it, but it is definitely a little bit minty and it smells so yummy, you guys. It is beautiful. It's like a metallic, kind of like a rose metallic color. But that was everything that I got from this collection. I do have a tutorial for you guys. So if you guys want to see that tutorial, just keep on watching. So I already primed my lids and now I'm going to take this beautiful shade right here. This one is called Bad to the Berry. Love this shade, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna use that all over the crease of the eye. And it has like a really slight hint of pink. Nothing too strong, but I love this shade. It's beautiful. Definitely quite impressed. There is like a tiny bit of fallout, but it's nothing too crazy. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this color here that is called Razzle, and it's this like really vibrant purple. This one is a matte shade, by the way. Ooh, that picked up a lot of product. I only did like a tiny bit. Can you guys see that? It's super pigmented. Oh yeah, love it. Can you guys see how beautiful this shade is? I'm gonna use that just on the outer V. Definitely love that shade. It gives like a lot of depth into this eye look. Love it, you guys. Okay, so next I'm gonna do the other side. Just gonna blend that in a little bit with this clean brush. Oh, it smells so good. I like that it's like not a super strong scent. It's just like a very mild scent, but you can definitely smell like the fruitiness in this palette. It smells really, really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in in the outer V of the eye, and I'm just gonna go over the outer V with this beautiful shade right here. This one is called Berries, Buried Treasure, and it's beautiful. This one here looks like it has like a little bit of shimmer. So I'm wondering if that's gonna have like any fallout. Hmm, it's not really that pigmented. Let's try it and mist the brush to see if that changes anything. Let's try it this time. Oh yeah, definitely more pigmented now. More pigmentation and less fallout. So if you do get this palette, you might want to mist your brush before applying it, but definitely did change it. Definitely like it now. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in the other side. Just gonna go back in with the first shade that we used in the crease and I'm just going to go over just to blend out any harsh lines. Okay, so the last shade I'm going to use from the palette is this beautiful one that I'm super excited for. So the way I'm going to apply this is with my finger. I just like to apply these kinds of shadows with the finger. And I'm just going to apply that just on this lower lid. Oh my god, I love this color. It is so beautiful. This color definitely makes this eye look more fun. Ooh, love it. So for the lower lash line, I am going to go in with that deep purple. Just to give it a like, little bit pop of color. Super pretty. I'm also going to go back in in the inner corner of the eye with this beautiful color right here that is called the boysenberry. And I'm just going to apply it just to the inner corner of the tear duct. Alright, so I'm going to finish off this eye look by applying my eyeliner and lashes and I'll be right back so we can try the other products. Okay, so my eyes are done. I put on my lashes and my eyeliner. Now we're going to use this powder right here that's called the Bananas Cream Brightening Powder. Ooh, very pigmented by the way. Look at that. I picked up a lot of product. I'm going to apply that just to the under eyes. Okay, so this is the eye with the brightening powder, the one without. Definitely see a huge difference. Definitely very brightening. I actually like it and I love that it smells like bananas. Now we're going to go in with a bronzer and this bronzer is called the Tutti Frutti Pineapple Paradise. I like that. It's like a very nice subtle bronzer. Nothing too crazy. It's just like a really nice bronzer. Definitely like that. Very pretty. I'm also going to apply a little bit on the sides of the nose. Definitely gives you like a really, really nice glow. For the blush, we're going to be using the Tutti Frutti Blush Duo. And this one is in the shade Strawberry. They did have another shade that was a little bit too dark. So the way I'm going to use this, I'm going to take my brush and just sweep it over both colors because I do like both colors and I think they're beautiful together. It's like a very nice, soft pink color. Ooh, I like that. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Out of all the products, I think this one smells like the most, like the strongest, but it's like a really nice strawberry scent. Okay, so now that the blush is done, now I'm going to go in with the highlighter. And I am going to take this little fan brush right here. Ooh, that's pigmented. Wow, do you guys see that? That's beautiful. I love this color, you guys. I'm so happy that each product in this collection actually worked for me. The other time that I got like the peach collection, a lot of the products had like no pigmentation whatsoever. And this one here is actually quite nice. All the products are very very good very pigmented definitely love it apply a little bit on the nose okay so that is done let's go with the lips I did pick up one color for the lips and the only color that I got is this one that's called the yummy rummy I loved 
this collection, you guys. This is definitely one of my most favorite collections from the entire Too Faced. I loved how everything smells so yummy, so fruity. And not only that, but the packaging was so gorgeous. And the product itself, the quality is amazing. Very pigmented, very blendable, easy to work with. So overall, I would highly recommend it to you guys if you're looking to get this collection. You definitely should. So I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!